Hi, I'm Ryan with Mad River Outfitters. I've been tying flies for a long time, and today we are gonna work on the two-minute mop fly. Here's all you need. First, you need a hook, choosing a scud hook. This happens to be the U202, size eight. Go with a bead. This is gonna be an appropriate size bead to match that, 316, this one's in black nickel. Need the mop chenille, all kinds of different colors. For that, this is the light dun or a light gray. Then for the collar, we're gonna do some ice dub. This one happens to be in that UV brown. Then you're gonna need a little bit of super glue or Zappa Gap. Oh, and if you don't know what a mop fly is, this is one of them here, it's in sartreuse and black. It's made to look like, like you just cut something off of your bathroom rug, I guess. I'm not totally sure. It looks like lots of different things. You can catch all kinds of different fish with it. It is gonna be a grub, some kind of aquatic insect. If you wanna get real technical, maybe a crane fly larva, a big true fly larva, it could be a caddis, all kinds of different things. You can catch just about anything on them that are gonna eat those size bugs. So let's tie one. This is so easy, I went ahead and took the left-handed vise out. I am left-handed, but I tie right. But on today, I wanna to tie it left-handed, just to show you how easy it is. Try to keep that straight. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'll take the 202, U202, put it in the vise. I like to put it there so I hold it so I don't drop it in the carpet while I get the bead out. So we're gonna take the bead, this is that 3 16 Put the small hole first over the hook point. Force it over there. There we go. Put it down in the jaw. All set there. Picking my thread just to match, kind of match the body. It's just a, a light tan, just a lighter colored thread. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and cover the hook shank with the thread. Trim off the tag, grab the mop material here. Pull it out, get about roughly about an inch. Take the Zappa Gap. Just gonna touch just the very end of this. Then roll it. That just kind of locks it up. You'll feel it stiff. Get roughly the size I want. It's gonna be basically twice the hook shank length. Two loose wraps pulled down. Two more to tighten it down. Again, I'm not gonna make this thing look fancy. It's a mop fly. Trim off the extra tag. Now lash it down on the hook. It's gonna to wanna to rotate around, that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's a mop fly, it's okay. Tying down just the amount I want that thorax to be. Grab some ice dub, just a little bit. Go ahead and dub it onto your thread. Tighten it up, wrap it down. Work up to the bead, half hitch and you're done. Cut her off your thread, and you're done. Nice. All right, there you have it. So you can tie up to 24 of these in for $15 or so, and it's gonna take you 48 minutes. What? I work at a fly shop, I don't care, I don't know that stuff. But I can tie flies, and anybody can tie a mop fly. So. Here we go, this is what we got. Uh, they tie them in all kinds of different colors. We have the stuff you need. So if you don't wanna tie them, just jump on there, buy a couple of them, they're inexpensive. All right, so that's, that's what we got with the mop fly there. Make sure that you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'm sure I'm gonna get all kinds of comments about your love for the mop fly. You know that I just absolutely love, I mean, loathe this fly. I mean, love this fly. So, all right, great, make sure you, Click that like button. We'll talk to you. Thanks. Bye. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too. <laughs>